Good morning, folks. May 19th. Saturn opposes the Sun in a little under four days, and just days later, Mercury conjoins it. The current calm on our star is not expected to last. We saw only minor pops the last day, a snap and filament lift on the western departing limb. Nothing significant. Any flare uptick that does come will not be mistaken. Almost can't get out of B range right now, and the sunspots will need to get some work done to change that. Almost nothing to be seen, and the biggest spot in the center, all positive thus far. No magnetic mixing. I'm also going to monitor a group of potential growth behind that one. Bright umbral fields already. Coming in north of that are a couple thin dark plasma filaments as well. So on the right you see the departing coronal hole. Its solar wind stream struck Earth yesterday. A solid whack after the CME impact the day before. The only way faster particles arrive after slower ones is if it is a coronal hole stream rather than a CME. And, as usual, these can be just as disruptive. The electron flux hit the floor upon taking the coronal stream. Magnetic pulsations rippled quickly and we entered a geomagnetic storm that peaked at level 2 but which may reverberate back today. Eyes on it. As for the next coronal hole, down south, negative, and still very tough to see. Those bright umbral fields down there are blocking visibility, so they may be blocking the stream as well. Only note from beneath our feet the last day was a swarm in New Zealand. Indonesia took the biggest quake of the day, but this is more impressive in my book. I'd also like to note a devastating landslide in Colombia. Dozens are dead, and the amount of rainfall that came down in such a short period of time was so bad it froze this reporter in fear face. Yikes. Other news today includes an update from the folks that brought us the magnetic turbulence of the galactic plane. Here it is around the Orion molecular cloud. Hashtag Danny Wilton's afternoon just got busier. Let's jump to the wind map to show how major storms affect atmospheric layers. Temperature overlay on now. But let me go ahead and shoot up to just below the jet stream, the 500 HPA layer. Much, much colder. In fact, consistently around the world at pretty much all times of year, this layer can't crack above the blue hues of that chill there. Except in one situation. I know the movie The Day After Tomorrow showed how storms could suck cold air down the middle, but that's not how it works. It's the opposite, and the warm air pulled up the eye spreads out at that layer after having been sucked in at ground level. Where else could all that air go if it's getting sucked in? Makes sense. Save the best for last, folks, if you don't know Kong Papu Yen. He is owed our constant thanks for taking time away from Goddard to help our community. He and I had some quick back and forth on earthquake triggers, and last night I posted that for you with some images added. Watch it right after the news. Anyway, we're less than 70% of the way through May, and the rain records in the south central states are already shuddering. Next few days isn't going to let up on them much. The airflow off the gulf is still entering this area and spreading out along the convergence line created by the cooler air mass driving down from the north. Top alerts will obviously come for the southern areas, but please, New England, don't sleep on this one. The storms roll through quickly. You're going to have some high alerts there tonight. In Europe, we see that northern low, but with its companion high just to the west on the left. This will drop the convergence and tighten the coverage as opposed to letting it draw back out into the North Atlantic. Instead, it bends south over France and Spain. In Australia, the low we've eyed for days is now near the southeast coastlines. You see the air wrapped around and it meets a convergence coming from north of New Zealand. That collision line is where the clouds are found. Remember folks, if I miss a morning news in the coming days, it will be because of the birth of my daughter. Check out last night's video with Dr. Uyen Yen if you have time. Got the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.